Hi everyone, so I am here to do an unboxing with Violet. Uh, we have recently been asked to review the Dreamtown Rose Petal Cottage. Violet actually doesn't know what's in the box, so this is going to be quite a bit of a surprise for her. And I'm basically here to um, open it and we are going to build it together, yeah? And she's like, what is it? So yeah, do you want to go have a look in the box, see what is in there? show you what it is and see how long it takes us to build. What's that? Oh my goodness, it's so heavy. So this is what it is. Rose Petal Cottage is basically an indoor um, playhouse and it's all made of fabric and um, plastic. Can we to help you? Oh, so what's this? This is the kitchen that's supposed to go inside of it. And I can carry that. And this one is the little stools. And um, it's very girly, very pretty, and I thought, And we need to buy this. And I thought this would be perfect Cooking. for Violet. Um yeah, so we're gonna build it and let's see how long it takes us, yeah? Mommy. Go. Okay, so it comes with some really, really good step-by-step -step instructions on how to build your cottage. So, yes, I'm going to try and do this by myself. I've been quite good lately at building things, so we'll see. Um, you basically start with a frame, just like a, a your average like windy house. I remember having a windy house when I was a child, so. frame um, which is actually really really simple it looks a lot more harder seeing all the bits and thinking oh where's it gonna go but actually it was quite easy um, and now what I need to do is put the cover on which basically is a double sided cover so it has a zip at the bottom you undo the zip and um, put it over so it's like double thickness which is quite nice um, yeah so let's see how this goes on again I'm like ow which way I'm um, trying to look at the picture um, I haven't stuck the door on yet either. Lay it down with the blank side to the ground and stick the middle bit. It's a bit fiddly. Right. And then you get your frame and turn it on its side. This is what the picture explains. And then you're supposed to stick, where do I put it in between them? And then it is. position turn it up and kind of see there's the loose bit around you zip it all around and then it basically covers up the pole tightens it I suppose So we've completed the house. It was a little bit of a faff to try and get the door on, just for my strengthness, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we've, we've done yeah. it, haven't we, Vi? Yeah, let's Now Violet's just gonna put all the stuff in. I'm blowing up the, the table and chairs are blow up. They're like velvety and really cool, so I'm gonna blow these up. Um, she's already done the table, put the table in. Where are you gonna put everything? Yeah. 
going to organise her home. So basically, we're just going to finish like setting it up, letting Violet have a good play with it, and then give it a week, and I'll do a review on it and let you know. Yeah, we um, need some food. And uh, yeah, once she's made her house a home we'll let you know how, how she's getting on. But I mean, it looks amazing. I mean, this is like any little girl's like dream, a little home um, to be moving out into it. So yeah, we'll probably see you later. Hi everyone, so I am back here to do a full review of the Rose Petal Cottage by Dreamtown. Violet has had a few weeks of just loving on it. And honestly, she's definitely made it her home. It's I've actually pulled a few things out because it was jam-packed with like push chairs and babies everywhere and I want to do like a full overview. Obviously you can actually see what the whole thing does and all the extras that come with it. Um, so yeah, generally Viola has thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed playing with it and I can imagine her like enjoying it for years and years now. So once you've got it all set up and all together, honestly, it's super sturdy. Um, the, the doors open really nicely and it's just going to stay there, it's not going to go anywhere, it won't collapse or anything, it's really really good. Um, it's a great size as well, Alistair's had a, had a good go in it, um, and he's obviously six and a half. It definitely can grow with them, even if you get it from the age like two plus. So yeah, she's thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think with it being so girly and pastel colours, and really quite classic and kind of vintage looking, I think it's intrigued her more. Um, the Rose Pestle Cottage itself um, doesn't actually come with all of the extras, it comes with the kitchen unit or the kitchen um, hob, um, that's one like, appliance that comes with it, you can actually buy the extras and I'll show you the extras that you can get with it which we set up in the previous video, but I'll give you a quick overview of the cottage itself and all the things that it does. Okay, so on the door that actually opens, which you can close up, it has a really nice mirror, it has like um, a pretend shelf that you can kind of, it kind of velcros up um, with the background of the flowers. It has a little pocket here which you can put a photo in. Violet's put her little card that she made for Father's Day in there. It has a little window, the little flappy doors. Again, they're velcroed on very, very well. Um, and then this is an extra that actually comes um, you can buy extra for the Dreamtown Cottage. So this is the lounge set. Um, it's all blow up, it's velvet. Um, really, really lovely actually. She loves sitting on it and it's surprisingly robust. You'd think, oh, blow up, it doesn't sound that great. But honestly, it's been absolutely fine. It has like a hard top. Um, yeah, so that's the little lounge set if you wanna buy that extra. And then actually inside the cottage, you can kind of see here, I love the, the lacy trim around the sides. I think that just puts that added like extra cuteness to it, I think. And even with the extra panel um, for the roof, it looks really cute and quite realistic, even with the like the ladybugs on the on there and um, the little flap here. So inside, um, at the back there, you can see there's like pretend coat hooks and little bunting and a pretend window with a little... Um, shelving and stuff you know quite quite pretty and girly and then this unit here um, is the kitchen unit which actually comes with the cottage itself it opens nicely really easy to put together um, quite robust and it just has little um, buttons here so they can just play pretend cooking and it also comes with a little pretend cardboard Wow, it's quite a hard like cardboard um, little baking so you can put it in the oven. So that's quite fun. And then this is the extra set which is the sink and the washing machine here. Again, she loves to put stuff in it. There we go. We have some food in there. Interesting violet but also comes with another pretend um, sort of washing thing that you can put in. Um, but yeah, the base, the basin is really nice. It comes with the really um, cute taps. And it just, you know, it really complements the whole thing, I think, the whole design. It's really girly and pretty and quite classic. It's not too big and bulky either. It has the mesh panel at the back there with some added features. And even there, this is Violet's like, she's like a bit of a hoarder, bag hoarder. Um, there's like a pretend rug um, there. 
And yeah, so that's basically inside the cottage itself. So one thing I love about this is that you can obviously just put everything inside and pack it all away. Which, and there has like, there's like a little um, magnetic bit here. And you can kind of pack it away and it looks nice and tidy. Again, very pretty. <laughs> looks like the outside of a house. Um, I'll show you the top. That's the top. And then on this side, you can see there is the extra roof here, just for the added feature. And then we have the rose petal cottage badge with the front door, um, which looks like that. The little wellies there. So yeah, that is pretty much the rose petal cottage. So I really hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope it's been helpful in deciding whether you want to buy the dream um, town cottage, um, you know, for your child with the upcoming Christmas or birthdays. Um, Violet absolutely loves it. I would highly recommend it actually. I, I really wish I had something like this when I was a child. So much fun and years and years of growth still left in it. Um, I will leave all links below and I will see you all soon.